की शुरुआत हम हाल से करते हैं रिसेंटली वी ऑल नो दैट आई थिंक मे बी आई शुड स्पीक इन इंग्लिश Uh, we all know that recently an australian newspaper published some documents which were <coughs> which showed the technical specifications and in particular the frequencies on which these scorpion submarines are supposed to communicate and the frequencies at which they give their signals now the revelation about this according to most technical submarine and naval experts say that this revelation would totally compromise the uh, the the, uh, the location of these scorpion submarines wherever they are in operation because they would then become sitting ducks for any enemy submarine or any enemy warship because they can be clearly seen and located this revelation becomes important in the context of a letter recently written to the prime minister by edmund allen who was an erstwhile partner uh, long ago of abhishek verma but who thereafter became a whistle blower when he came to know the kind of illegal things that abhishek verma was involved in he became a whistle blower and since 2007 itself he has been assisting and sending information to the cbi and to the indian authorities to the enforcement directorate to the cbi and to the indian authorities about the activities of abhishek verma allen wrote a letter dated 30th sorry 25th august this year to the prime minister and to the cbi director and to the national security adviser and to the defense minister to to four people detailing in great detail how abhishek verma despite being charged cheated by the cbi in three cases of revealing navy naval defense secrets those charge sheets are of 2000 Eight, nine, ten, etc. That he came out on bail and as late as in 2011 is shown not only to be involved in as a middleman in defence purchases, in particular for the navy, in in naval purchases being made, but that he is also shown there is clear evidence which. Alan gave to the prime minister and all these people defense minister etc that he has used foreign prostitutes escort services to compromise a large number of very senior officers of indian defense services and in particular one member of parliament of the bjp who was a member of the defense consultative committee for a long time and through them he had been getting all kinds of confidential uh, top secret documents of the navy of the air force relating to this scorpion submarine and i am talking about this is the second round the first round the naval defense the, the, the boardroom leak took place in 2005 i am talking about 2011 in 2011 this man is still shown and all the evidence is sent by way of emails etc which you will copy or which you will get to the prime minister etc that this man has been has compromised these naval officers other defense officers members of the defense consultative committee etc through whom he is getting top secret documents about purchases about specifications 
In fact, we have not even attached one particular document which is such a sensitive document, so we have not attached it in the press release and the document that you will get just now, which he had also sent. We have also not attached the hundreds of photographs showing these officers, this MP, etc., in compromising positions with, with these foreign escort prostitutes, etc. We have not attached that because that's, that's sleazy. We don't want this matter to become an issue of sleaze. This is a far, far more serious matter. This is a matter where this government, knowing full well that our defense secrets are being stolen through these defense officers, through these MPs who are members of the defense consultative committee, etc. Our entire security is being compromised through these people with the help of these middlemen like Abhishek Verma sits and does nothing about it. There is a letter in this which you will see, which uh, this uh, press note that you will get. There is a letter in this at page 10. This is the first annexure, annexure 1 to this press note, which is a letter dated 30th May 2014, just after this Modi government came into office. It's a letter written by the member investigations of the CBDT who is presently the Chief Vigilance Commissioner of, the, of India and written to Ranjit Sinha, the then CBI Director. And in this letter he says, now this is 30th May 2014, Modi government has just come in and he says, <coughs> Please refer to your DO letter to Chairman CBDT dated 12th May requesting for details of all cases investigated investigation under investigation with the department against the against Sri Abhishek Verma. Then he says some complaints alleging possession of funds in some foreign bank accounts and routing of unaccounted money through, the, through a maze of entities located in foreign jurisdictions. Receipt of US dollars 530,000 from blacklisted defense equipment supplier named RAD of Switzerland. Receipt now, this, listen to this carefully. Receipt of 4,300 crore rupees, 4,300 crore rupees being 10% of the total value of 43,000 crore in the defense deal for the sale of air defense gun systems to the Indian Army. Large scale fraud, etc. Then he says, parking of US 205 million, that is about more than 1,000 crores, in a bank in USA having received it by acting as middlemen in several defense deals, the routing of money through Havala channels for which a case was reportedly registered by Enforcement Directorate for Money Laundering and Payments through Amex Cards to Mrs. PB International, an escort service provider in Belgium for obtaining services of escorts and call girls for attending parties in India have been received by the Investigation Dip Division of the Income Tax Department. The investigation officers are collecting further information evidence as part of the investigation in the above allegations. 